Hello everybody, welcome to the video. Today we have um, this realistic slash perfect offseason for the Cowboys, or as I like to call them, the Cowgirls. I'm not a big fan of the team, but uh, obviously the team has been good lately, and I think the team is still good, but um, <clears throat> obviously this con like contract situation right here, it's very easily, or you can very easily say that Ezekiel Elliott is worse than Tony Pollard to this point, so... I think Zeke's going to be have to have to get out of there. Michael Gallup's contract's expiring. Dalton Schultz is expiring. I probably want Jake Ferguson to start, honestly. Um, probably should be rated like a 72 at least, and I'd give him star dev. I'm, I really enjoy him. I think he is the one out of Wisconsin. I think that's where he's from. As if not, yeah, it's Wisconsin rookie, 23 years old. He's got um, <clears throat> a lot of the... the um, fundamentals down i really like the player you got a pretty young offensive line and then on the right side it's not so young at all probably need to uh you know get that all fixed up and whatnot cooper rush had a good first half of the season Cavante turpin jalen tolbert uh south alabama right i think south alabama rookie i liked him in the the senior bowl but uh who didn't right i mean he showed up and showed out for sure Noah Brown, as I've mentioned, um, CD and Michael Gallup, Dalton Schultz, Fergie, and Henderson. Not, I know it's not his name, but I like to call him that because I like Jake Ferguson a lot better. You have Sam Williams and Dorrance Armstrong, both young developmental guys. Na Naval Gallimore, Naval Gallimore. I forgot how do you say his name. Neville, Neville, uh, Gallimore. Anyways, in the interior as well, along with Osa Odigitua. I, I'm a big fan of the name. Demarcus Lawrence is pretty good. And then you're going to need some uh, some cornerback help for sure. I guess now we can put that back to normal. Trayvon Mullins on this team? I didn't even know that. Donovan Wilson plays really good. Um, he's always around the ball, which you do like to see. Probably want to start Damone Clark over Anthony Barr. Um, but just give, kind of giving you guys the, the gist of the team and like what I planned out for them. Um, and just like the way that the team looks as of now. But let's see who the uh or who wins the super bowl predictions right now i'm out keeping my eyes closed give me the eagles oh okay it's not even done simulating i thought it would been done okay eagles are a no-go it is the chiefs by 12 so kind of is what it is move on to re-signing the players i think that this will be a very important process we've got a lot of big hitters that'll either be leaving or staying after this period i'm not sure quite what the cap room looks like probably pretty bad if i had to guess um <laughs> yeah 52 million is not ideal dalton schultz with full interest i just don't think that we could help ourselves but extend him so full interest in the team happy to have him back donna wilson if he wants okay he wants three years though i'm not a fan of the three-year thing not not for sure Leighton van doesn't want to come back terrence Steele, i'd be more than happy to have back Give him a four-year deal, 4.5 or 3.5 with full interest. You should easily come back over to the team. Uh, Brett Maher, gone. Leave. Out. Now. Noah Brown's here. So, yeah, we're going to need a big wide receiver. Like, definitely need a wide receiver. Um, and it does not say Michael Gallup. Is, uh, his contract is going to expire. But um, Tony Pollard will give him an offer for sure. He's worth money but it's just depending on how much he'll take and he's going to test free agency. So maybe um, running back someone, something we target in the draft uh, or we can trade Zeke, get one back. I'm not sure. We'll look around in free agency, see who's there, see what we need, see what we want. Um, I know these videos are kind of slower pace, but I'm just trying to give you guys what I think will like realistically happen or what can realistically happen. Miles Sanders to come in. Uh, big yards per carry guy, especially with uh, Tony Pollard gone. You're going to need someone like that. Um, yeah, I don't think that there's really anybody else. I'd want maybe Miles Sanders, and then we could trade Ezekiel Elliott, and then maybe draft one down the board, someone uh, in the third or fourth round maybe. Um, speaking of, we do have trades available right now. Maybe we can shop Zeke. It's a done deal, Zeke Elliott being moved with a future four and five. Um just for 18 in this upcoming draft from the Lions. Uh, I'm not sure. That's probably the Lions pick. And then their early is uh, from the Rams. So now that we have running back taken care of, I feel more than comfortable with having Miles Sanders on my targeting list. And uh, I guess, yeah, we could keep moving. We're going to need wide receiver. It's just depending on who's here. Uh, OBJ, Calvin Ridley, a lot of guys with interest. Holy crap. I think Jacoby Myers can come in and fit pretty well. 
Michael Hardman, uh, Sterling Shepard for a year wouldn't be bad. But if I'm going to go for any of these guys, I'm going to go with someone with a little bit better on the age side of things. And I think that's Jacoby Myers. Just comes in, probably gives you the better player uh, immediately. I'm not sure how many people are really targeting him right now and how much he's really going to be worth. But um, it's just us for him right now. And then tight ends don't need. Left tackle don't need. Left guard probably could if we're looking for a right guard. Uh, I don't think we should because I think Sam Martin will be here. Um, <clears throat> he should be. Zach Martin is. But it's whether or not big uh, Tyron Smith. So it looks like Tyron Smith actually ended up retiring. So it's Terrence Steele, and then on the left tackle, we'll have Tyler Smith. And then, oh no, Tyron Smith is still here. Okay, so he's just playing on the right side. For some or on the left side, I thought he was playing on the left. Um, so yeah, offensive line's good. Uh, we're going to need some good players. And I think that Dante Fowler probably should have been re-signed, but it is what it is. TR Tart, um, to kind of pick up that Neville Gallimore and become your, your defensive tackle one at 26 years old is a good opportunity, I think. Tier Tart really fits what you're trying to do here. Uh, just trying to give you a pretty average line with, um, with obviously, um, <clears throat> whatever his face is on the over top. Uh, that would be Michael Parsons. Jesus Christ. Um, go with this deal on Marcus Davenport and might be able to offer a really cheap deal. I don't think we'll even be able to get a really cheap deal going for anyone of value. Mike Hughes would be fun, but, uh, Go maybe a five year, two and a half, one point six. Yeah, there's just no way we're getting any sort of deal like that done. So what I think the plan could actually be is if we could find Marcus Davenport, Jesus. Um I think that we can remove the contract from him, then go back over to left and find Dante Fowler Jr. and uh put him on a pretty friendly deal here. Um yeah, we'll give him a three year deal just for the the giggles of it. I think um we should have a pretty good chance of getting Dante Fowler. And that leaves us with a little bit more um a little bit more money to go sign a corner, and that is probably what I want to do here. Desmond King, good for him that he's there. I don't care. Do I want Nick Needham or I probably want Mike Hughes actually. So give me Mike Hughes on a three year deal. Give two point two and what's the max we can do? Probably that deal. Might go through, maybe, if we're lucky. Targeting some Mike Hughes, we've got a good deal on him. So, Miles Sanders, Jacoby Myers, Tier Tart. We could probably remove some money from, actually. So, give TR, Tier Tart this deal right here. Still with a lot of interest in the team. So, uh, still looks good. Um, I mean, I don't really want to invest any more money in anyone else. So, we'll process the deals here and see what we got. We got all five of them. So, Dante, Mike Hughes, Tier Tart, Jacoby Myers, and Miles Sanders all making their way to dallas i mean pretty fair jason kelsey's a seahawk that that feels criminal um cj Gardner johnson i mean some of these guys are just going off the board a lot of uh activity here from the eagles getting rid of kelsey acquiring michael thomas byron murphy uh raiders getting to not great players but they're, they're all right uh older guy and um well not um but this is not about the Raiders, this is about us. We'll simulate to the draft. I'm using my realistic draft class. And uh, now we have two first round picks, thanks to Ezekiel Elliott. And then we'll have the rest of the draft to kind of build on. And then we'll see how they can do next year. Looks like we'll have a middle of the pack. I mean, obviously it doesn't look like. We know what we have. We have an 18th and a 27th overall pick. And then we've got late round picks from there on out. So uh, Jalen Carter, I mean, like, I don't really find myself trading up for anyone. But if I were, it would probably be for Jalen Carter with this team. Um, probably you might go to like if you're the the cowgirls and you're looking to trade up, it has to be with Jalen Carter. But let's get through this like top five or so here. Jalen Carter probably finds himself off the board right here. And um, top five. What do we got? Will Levis to the Colts and Tyree Wilson sums it up there. And then the Lions. Who do they go with? Miles Murphy. Um, let's put it with the boring stuff. Let's get to our pick and um, see who's still on the board. Probably looking for a good corner. Probably want a good corner. Good wide receiver at this point would be nice to see. Jackson Smith and Jigba is still here. Um, I cannot say the same about uh, anybody else. We could probably get a quality one down the down the board for sure, I think. I don't think that we need to really like spurt on one right now. Devin Witherspoon being here is actually amazing. I think Devin Witherspoon will have to be my pick. 
uh, absolute quality corner, um, has top 10 potential, like to be top 10 pick in this draft. Uh, Devin Witherspoon, Illinois corner uh, out of um, <laughs> Illinois. Yeah, that would be the one. I'm such an idiot, man. Sometimes I get lost in my words, but uh, we'll move eight picks ahead. Cam Smith comes off the board. Do we want a first round wide receiver in like a Jackson Smith and Jigba here? Or do we want, that's probably the only guy in player. Oh, Antonio Johnson. We actually lost, um, what's his face? So Antonio Johnson would be really cool to get. So we lost Donovan Wilson. Antonio Johnson could come in and start a free, uh, strong safety immediately. Really like the player. So uh, we'll see what sort of wide receivers are here at the late second. I'm not going to be too confident with who's on the board, but, um, <clears throat> Jamir Gibbs just off the board as well is interesting. Parker Washington down the board. Penn State receiver, 5'10", 215. Plays a little bit taller than that if I do think, if I'm thinking about the right guy. Uh, beast back catch. He's good all around, no doubt. He's a good player, good receiver. But um, Rasheed Rice still on the board. He's good. Uh, Cedric Tillman. I think that we probably just got to pull the trigger on Parker Washington. Get, get a quality receiver before they're gone. Um, and he's about as good as it'll get for this pick. And then maybe next pick could be a running back to kind of uh, give Miles Sanders some support. Um, I have someone in mind now that I'm thinking about it. Brandon Joseph, Notre Dame safety, just flies off the board. And um, <clears throat> Roshan Johnson, I think, here is a good pick. Really like the player. I think that he's the opposite of, of Miles Sanders. He's got great strength and... Um, I mean, good size too, 6'2", 225, but runs like the wind. Makes He's an absolute freak, someone that is um, just insane. And I think Roshan Johnson off the board has big type potential, big time potential to go off the board. So we'll take him happily at the bottom of the third round. And then now at the bottom of the fourth, probably look to play uh, to take a good developmental piece. I don't think that we'll really find anyone that'll start immediately. Zach Pickens, Trey Palmer. What is that face scan? That, why is that super ultra realistic? I like that. Trey Palmer. <coughs> I actually just watched some of his uh, super, uh, senior bowl highlights. He didn't look great to me, but he looked like he had some good and bad qualities. Andre Ilias or Iasivas. Iasivas. Uh, don't, don't ask me. Definitely or obviously the, the wrong person to ask. Tyler Scott, good, but Trey Tucker. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of him, but he's really good. I've got to add some people in this class uh, from the Senior Bowl because there's a lot of good ones. Uh, Riley Moss down the board would be pretty fun. Xavier Hutchinson's still here. Jose Ramirez. I like Jose. Um, I think he could come on and be like exactly what Doris Armstrong or Sam Williams is uh, with a little bit more potential down the board. Let's go Jose Ramirez. Edge rusher out of Eastern Michigan, kind of a smaller school. Um had some has some upside and uh, and whatnot so here at number 27 we'll see who's here um max duggan finds himself off the board uh marino cropper is an interesting prospect probably not going to be my go-to jonathan mingo out of i thought he was out of old miss not mississippi um it's interesting i don't know if they're going to classify that as that okay riley moss and xavier hutchinson is still here Quindle Johnson, Memphis safety, I really liked. Rakeem Jarrett, uh, Peyton Wilson. Uh, what do we need? Probably going to need a Leighton Van Der Esch replacement. And Peyton Wilson's not going to be that guy. Um, he's got some good qualities. We'll just go Peyton Wilson. I don't know really what else to do. Well, let's go Peyton Wilson. And I didn't even think to address middle linebacker. We won't be able to do that in the seventh round. So we'll just skip past all this. And here they are. Probably should give Devin with their spoon. Star development at least. Antonio Johnson, 76 overall down the board too. Another player I really like. Uh, Parker Washington was a 73 developmental piece at 21 years old. I think that you really just have someone that big time potential for sure. Roshan Johnson down the board was a 72 overall. Really like the player. Jose Ramirez is a 68. Payne Wilson, 67, and Israel Abi, uh, Abani Konda um, will come on as well to 68 overall. So uh, I'd say it's a pretty successful draft. I don't I don't think that there's uh, a specifically bad player or anything like that. But we'll get to the regular season. We'll set up the team, and we'll see how they look, and then we'll simulate the season. I kind of forgot we brought in Jacoby Myers. It is no big deal, but when Michael, Gallup's, Michael Gallup is gone, Jacoby Myers will move into his place, and then Parker Washington will move into the current Jacoby Myers place, which I think is pretty fair. I think since we signed Jacoby Myers, we'll just put him over there. At wide receiver two, 
Uh, got a pretty good line. I'm not sure what's up with uh, left guard, but uh, it kind of is what it is. Um, Tyler Smith can come in and play that. I think he's the Tulsa lineman, right? Tulsa, he's out of Tulsa. I think Tulsa. Yep, Tulsa. Let's go. Uh, I'm starting to kind of get more involved with the draft uh, as each year goes on. Um, yeah, so anywho, we've got some good players for sure. Um, okay, for a second I thought my mic was muted. I was about to be devastated because <laughs> uh, I wouldn't know how long it's been muted. But um, yeah, Peyton Wilson. So we really just don't have anyone inside. That, that was really a big miss by me. So Damone Clark will have to come in and play. We might have to even make a trade. It's that bad. It is. We're not going to start Johnson there because we're going to need a strong safety. And J-Ron Curse is here. I didn't even think about that. So Antonio Johnson could play his first year at middle linebacker pretty much. I'm fine with that. That, that works for me. Uh, Roshan Johnson as a power back works for me as well. Parker Washington going to be working uh, out of the second guy out of the slot here. Uh, defensively, I want Mike Hughes to start over Jordan Lewis, like preferably. And then Devin Witherspoon will also jump him on the depth chart. I'm not sure who's going to be playing slot. It'll be Devin Witherspoon. So um, <clears throat> major role players here. Got a good team. Um, I mean, what is our marketable picks? Like, do we have anyone just laying around that we could trade for an average middle linebacker? Pretty big trade here for uh, both teams here. But we're going to send Michael Gallup for a third and Patrick Queen. I like the I like the trade a bit actually, and I think that that is not one that's it's on the realistic side, but it's not like I predict this to happen. It's not one of those. It's kind of just I can see this um, being more realistic than other trades I've made ever. <coughs> and uh, yeah, I'm getting over the sickness. Don't worry, it'll be gone in a day or two. Uh, I'm in a little bit of better spirits today though, so that's a little bit on the plus side. I'm not really like sitting here struggling to get through a video. That's why I'm kind of doing a longer one here today. Yesterday I did a five or six minute video. So, uh, yeah, if you guys haven't seen that, don't go see it. <laughs> Pro tip by me. Um, Jacoby Myers, Parker Washington, now steps up in that number three role. CD Lamb, Prescott, Roshan, obviously. Um, defensively, don't really lose any steps <laughs> anywhere. Uh, we Demarcus Lawrence, Dante Fowler, anyways. Mike Hughes, Jordan Lewis, who I wanted to trade away as well. And Hughes also got Bland. Who uh, stepped up towards the end of the season as well was really good. Antonio Johnson will start over J. Ron Curse now because now we should have Patrick Queen and Damone Clark. Uh, I want to see actually Damone Clark start, so I will make that happen. And uh, overall, we just have a really good team in my opinion, a really uh, a team that is likely to succeed. So we'll see what the playbooks and Madden will do for us. We'll stem straight to the playoffs and make anything work. Good seasons here by the whole entire NFC East. Uh, 12 and 5, 12 and 5, 10 and 7, 7 and 10. Very good stuff. Um, I mean, we're number one seed in the whole NFC, it looks like, as well. A lot of upgrades to go around. Parker Washington will be a 76 overall, most likely. Uh, so, yeah, let's see how this team's doing after the season. Um, we won't be playing in the wild card. Uh, Dak Prescott had a good season, I'm guessing, just by all these morale points. Parker Washington, Tolbert, Ferguson. Uh, Roshan. Has star development and went up uh, two overall, three overalls, so and then playing one more up with morale. Mike Hughes, Trayvon Diggs, Monty Hooker, or Mo whoa, wait, what's his name? Malik Hooker. <laughs> For some reason, I was thinking Armani or Armani Hooker. Um, yeah, it's Malik Hooker. My bad. Um, defensively, I mean, we'll go ahead and look at stats in just a second. But Devin Witherspoon up to a seventy-eight overall. Going to that corner two spot, headed into the playoffs. But yeah, let's see how this team performed on paper. We were the 13th best offense and the 16th best defense. So really stands for what it stands for. As you see, Anthony Richardson threw for the most yards in the NFL. Uh, Dak Prescott, 5,000 yards, virtually pretty much 5,000. 37 touchdowns, 15 interceptions as well. So good season from him. Not really anything like special, special, but good. Roshan Johnson got a lot of the, the touchdowns. Holy crap. And uh, Miles Sanders also had a pretty good season, averaging four per carry. Parker Washington led the team in yards with 1,200. CeeDee Lamb with nearly 12. Jacoby Myers just over 1,000 as well. And Dalton Schultz was close. But yeah, really good uh, production here from the rookie. Do like to see that. Patrick Queen led the team in tackles with Damone Clark not too far behind. A lot of uh, defensive tackles doing the work, or a lot of uh, <coughs> tackles for loss um, for us. Ten and a half sacks for both Demarcus Lawrence and Micah Parsons. Also, Odigizu with four, Dante with four, and T.R. Tart with three. Um, 
yeah, I guess those are good numbers just to put up and uh and I guess leads you to the number one seed in all of NFC. So that's pretty cool. Uh we'll move to the divisional where we'll have our first opponent. Who will it be though? That's what I'm curious about. It'll be the Philadelphia Eagles. So we'll see if we can beat our division rival in this uh, in this one right here. And we do by eleven. And then now we have the Niners to break. Uh and now we have to break the Niners, I should say. And uh, I actually do want to go see. There was an update on the game. So what I actually do want to go see is if they updated freaking Brock Purdy's overall, which I'm, I'm like almost 100% sure they must have. They had to have. And uh, nope, still a 68 overall quarterback with normal development. Uh, boy, yeah, Madden really knows how it goes. Iowa State quarterback. Uh, Mr. Irrelevant, obviously. But <clears throat> we have them. Yeah, we have the 49ers here in sight. We'll see if we can beat them here in the conference round. Can we beat them? We lose by seven, but we made another good, um, another good breach. You know, um, Cowboys are knowing for losing in the wild card round. As a as a Packers fan, I'm happy to say we delivered one of those losses. But um, yeah, I mean, this last year they one yeah, to the divisional i think then they lost and then now in this simulation they lose in the conference championship so as far as this pace is going they should be in next season if we were to do one more but that'll be it for me thank you guys for watching i do want to appreciate every single one of you guys and i'm uh, i appreciate you guys watching especially if you watch all the way to now it really means it a lot and uh yeah that'll be all uh, come back tomorrow daily uploads just depending on what the video is whether or not you guys want to click on it or not all up to you guys I'll see you guys next time.